You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? Come on, man. We cheated. All right, we mixed up some epoxy. We got that on there. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes or so. I hope it's set up. While that was on there, and I got these on here. Uh, I hold it. Um, I put this on here. The, the line section uh, coax comes out. The ground, the shield, hooks here. This one just takes the bolt and then you new peak output. So this is, if this cord, the, the center of this coax was here, it would read uh, RMS, wouldn't read peak. It's going through that, reading through this, and this sets your RMS and your peak. Of course, when your meter's off, it's just reading through there, turn it on, it's reading through this board. Simple as that. All right. Uh, this should have had more cord on it. So if you need to make it remote, mine, I got it wrapped around the meter on the inside. So I, you can take this out and put this on your amplifier way in the back of your car. It'll make a damn feel in a semi and you put the antenna on the very back of the trailer. You could uh, run this coax back then. You wouldn't lose anything through it. And you would, uh, uh, you could use this meter. Remote. This is your line section. This would get rid of it. So, like in another amp, say this is your amp. You run a piece of coax from your radio to it. And then you got to turn around and run it back. Well, that's why you don't. You put the line section on the end of it and get rid of that. Uh, this line section will go there. This little PA coax will come up out to the front. And this wouldn't have nothing to do with the SWR or anything. This would be back there. Uh, I don't know if it makes any sense to y'all, but it's uh, the way to go. This meters other than this is a uh, remote too. Uh, it's a bunch of my stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, all right. We're gonna see how this one does now. All right. We'll put the battery in it. I think I remember how to set this up from the last one. All right. That light ain't very bright. You can see it though. Hmm. That LED ain't very bright. Make sure this battery is scattered. Uh, just make sure this battery ain't dead. Hmm. No. Well. That LED, you can see it, but it's not very bright. Of course, these big LEDs here above my head. But it's not very bright. 
You can see it come on, but barely. Okay, this is on. Not very bright. I'll check with him. I might uh, wire another one in the front. That means I'll have to take all this stuff back off to get in there. Man, that ain't very bright. Let's see here. See if I can check the voltage on that. Hmm. Is that kind of all right? Let's see. Green and all right, the green and black. Black green goes over to here to see. So this is the one going to the uh, LED. Man, that ain't nothing. Let's check the voltage on that and see what that is. All right. Volts. DC, the switch is on. This is the ground. That's the ground. That's the voltage going to the switch. 1.62 volts. That's mighty low. Uh, one of these in here, so that's the voltage for that. That right there looks pretty dry. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it looks like we have an unsorted, uh, looks like a couple of them's unsorted. Uh,
How's that overload? Okay, nine volt is coming in here. Nine volts coming in the grounds here. What the hell is that overload? Alright, nine volts. Okay. Eight volts. Okay, here. That resistor there is too much. Look on the schematics. Uh, let's see, this is J. So this one here, D4. D four D three D two Okay, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R2, D2, uh, I don't see a D4. A couple of these look uh, dry. Well, let me put a little salt on that. This, uh, this one here looks a little dry, and this one looks a little, a little dry with salt. Let's put this little tab on there. It says on the schematic, D4, for the, uh, and then right there it says D4, uh, 5 millimeter red LED. Am I missing something? There's a D3, D2, D2, D1, D2. That's the D fours underneath the board. Let's look on this one. Of course, there's nothing under the board. All right, let's see. This here goes over to here and goes over to there. So I was right. R one sets the resistance for the. Uh, for the light. You got this leg here goes over to there and goes over here. That sets the uh and uh that is gone out of there. This one don't even have it like that. Let's see if this one has a D four. No. I D four is that switch. Maybe this, that's a symbol for a switch. It looks to me like a diode. But it's got two lines above it, so. I don't know. Let me uh, throw a little chunk of salt on this. It might just be a. Let's see now. Let's 
see if she's any brighter. She ain't no brighter. Oh, brighter! Let's see what the voltage do. There would be about one volt. 1.6 volt. Here's the meter. Here's the ground. And here's this uh, 1.68 volts. All right, you go to here. There's your 169 volts. And here is 8 volts. All right. Let's do this. If you add a jump a resistor across it, it uh, it should devalue that somewhat. I don't know what resistor's in there. Let me see if I, I can do an ohms check with it in there. How many ohms that is? Sometimes I can't read them in circuit. Nineteen. 19k seems a little high. Maybe grabbed the wrong resistor. That could happen. I'd say you probably grabbed the wrong one. That could happen. Anything can happen. Alright, let's check this one here. 9K. This is 19. So, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Let's see. Let's see what this does. This is a 3K. This should get decently bright. With this in there. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, a lot brighter. Still ain't enough as I like it, but it's brighter. Y'all see that? Yeah, that's lighting up pretty good. Alright. I think you just grabbed the wrong one. Let me go with the uh, 1.3K across that. Let's see if she, she can get on bright. Brighten her on down. That is very damn. I can, I can put another light on it. Drill a hole, put it in the front. It's off, but let's take it off anyways. Alright, let's try the one point three on. That's one thousand and three. One thousand three hundred. This should make it bright. You go all the way down to 470, I think. And uh, still be safe. Well, you can actually go more than that one now, but, but on 12 volt, go even higher than that. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty bright. That ain't a very bright bulb. Let me check with him and see what he wants. Uh, which that other resistor's knocking it down some too. It's let's see what this is actually in circuit now. It was nine K. Now it's one point two K. This is a 1.3, so it's knocking it down soon. Put that other resistor in there. Uh, let's do this.
Let's see if we can do this. This ain't gonna hurt a damn thing. Much. Right, it's wrong as it resist in there anyway. Let me get a pair. Of, try to wiggle this up out of here. Alright, test that in. This is that in. Alright. While well, we got that one, check it. And I'm pretty sure we put the wrong one in. Just mistakenly. Uh, let's see, he's got it. It should be wrote down here. Uh, I ain't trying to start no trouble with nobody or nothing like that. Okay, this is uh, R1. R1, 1K to 10K, and this is 19K, all right, let me show you, at least it says, that's what it's showing on my meter, he just grabbed, did, grabbed the wrong resistor, all right, let's try to get this on there, 19K, he just grabbed the wrong one, I mean, I know that's aggravating to somebody that don't have shit on hand and stuff like that, but I'm not trying to make a guy look bad. I mean, I, I don't really have to put it on film, but, you know, shit. Hell, he's human, too. We all are. And things happen. I'm not doing it to make him look bad, nothing like it. Not in the least. I ain't trying to make him look bad. He's a good guy. Every time I've dealt with him, and the guy in New York, he's good too. I mean, I had one, one, uh, one problem, but he made it right. So, it ain't nothing to, complain about like I said I wouldn't complain I ain't gonna complain about this either I mean it happened it's easy to fix but if you was at home and didn't have the didn't have the equipment to fix it with it would be kind of screwed up but hey shit happens it always does I got some angel hair solder to come from Radio Shack back in 1552. Man, I really miss Radio Shack. They said they're coming back out with it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they're probably not. The way the economy is nowadays, uh, it's a restaurant up in Reedsville. You can look it up, Reedsville, North Carolina. It's a little restaurant up there called, uh, called, uh, the Reed House, and the whole point about, you know, the Reedsville is, had to do with the Reed family. Uh, the Chickapins, yes, that's a real name, Chickapin. You can look it up. Look up, uh, Chickapin, I don't know how to spell it, Chickapin Plantation. Just saying in the Google, it'll put it in the Chickapin Plantation in Reedsville, North Carolina. 
Uh, you look that place for the it, it it's got it's got stuff from these people were super rich. They was like they was uh real good friends with the uh, Biltmores, the uh, Rockefellers, and I mean they they went all over the damn world, all over the damn world. In their house, they had a house out in the country, the country house. They had a house up in town, the townhouse. They had houses all over the world. All over. And, uh, that they sold the house to, uh, the city of Reesville. It's not. The city of Reedsville has let that place go into ruins. I mean, if you go on and see the gardens and stuff like it, they had people hired to keep that stuff up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They had a working farm. I mean, they had cows. And uh, they raised beef. They raised uh, tobacco. They had burly tobacco. They had uh, all kinds of stuff. Just all kinds of stuff. And that pl that place is in shambles. If you walk up there, you mm, if you've seen it to start with, and you see it now, it is a damn. It's a disaster. All right, all right. Well, the lights brighter. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. The LEDs are above my head. All right. It's a lot brighter than what it was. A lot brighter. And if he wants me to put one out on the side, that's all I gotta do is connect the ground here to the LED and right to the other side. And you can use the LED with the resistor made in it, or you can put a resistor. That's all this is doing is breaking down the voltage uh, from the nine volt and breaking it down to uh, to that. Uh, where it's a uh, runnable, but uh, yeah, I bet you the pins are rolling over in their graves. They're both dead. They got uh kids that couldn't. Their their kids couldn't uh, afford to pay for all the land. And I mean, they're they're millionaires. They couldn't afford to pay for the land that they had, the taxes and everything. So they they sold it to the city of Reesville. Uh, well, actually gave it to them. I guess for for the taxes on the other properties. Like I said, the 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 town, the house they got in the town. They have weddings and parties and events there but the one out in the county uh was even nicer pm plantation and it wasn't that kind of plantation so if you thinking racist don't think about that because it's at least i don't think it was I ain't never known nothing about it being, I mean, big farms around here was called, most people I know of called it the home place. All right, we're going to check it. I need to get some uh, Velcro. Might have some somewhere. All right, let's go back to this. This is going to be a long video. Alright, let's go back to this. Setting it. Alright, CW, which is the meters off, it's in the center position, and to calibrate, uh, it should go all the way full deflection, and if not, you have to adjust the orange one. Which would be this one. And the push button switch is here. 
it should go full deflection it's not quite full deflection not quite all right so the orange It's going down. All right, full deflection now. All right. All right, going to go to the next one, B. Then switch it in the peak position. Turn it on. All right, the lights lit up. All right, switch it in the peak position, VR1, which is the brown one, and it goes to full scale. This is the brown one. Oh, this is the brown one. Yeah, that's the brown one. And you got to push it, and it's going to full position. It's a little bit off, not half as much as the other one was. Let's adjust it. All right, full deflection. You got to push that switch in the back. Full deflection. Let's see if it's the yeah. Okay, that's what I have a slug in it now. All right. Go to C, uh, return to CW switch, run, return it to cut it off, cut the remote, oh, I mean the uh, peak kit off, and then two times. So the yellow one, which is this one, the yellow one, you'll have to adjust it to half scale, which is going to be 50. And on this scale, all right, you can read this middle scale. A hundred is so you got three scales. Why you read this? This 50, 25, and 100. So if you got a thousand watt slug in it, of course, this is a thousand. Half a thousand would be 500, which would be right there. All right, so we're going to go half the deflection, which is going to be five. It's going to be right along in here. And that's way too much. Most of them is spot on. Oh man, bitch. Oh, fuck. No wonder. Oh, sorry. I gotta have it in a two times position. I fucked up. Dummy. Well, there it is. It's near about it. You gotta have it in a two times position. I'm an idiot. It's still bound to have been off. But you do have to turn these things a lot. They're, I think they're 10 or 20 turn pots. All right.
So this one's got to be on that line in between the 20 and the 30. It's got to be on that line with the two times up. That's two times. All right. Then you got to push the button in the back. So it's there. Yeah. It's there. Two times up. It's got to be there. All right. So one time it's got to be all the way over to the hundred. Which is there. And then you go two times. That's got to be half the scale. Which would be there. Alright. Five times would be all the way down. And that should be over to the 20. 20, 40, 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So five times. It would have to be over to here. All right, five times. Push the button. Yeah, I'll still use my fingers. All right, dead on. Dead on the five times. BBI has got a better video than mine. It's better than mine anyway, so. I'm too stupid. But I could edit this out and you wouldn't even know how stupid I am. We'll see if that happens or not. Uh, Alright. To set the hang time on it, that's that meter going up and then it comes down slow. I don't like it going slow. I like going. Like a windshield wiper, like it ought to. Bing, bing, bing. So, to set the hang time, I'm going to go back to this, uh, to the zero one time, I guess would be. I'm going to go to that, and I'm going to hit the button. Well, it comes back fast. All right. I think it's going to be slow, though. But it might not be too slow. Yeah. You can see it there. I'm let off the button. It's on the button. Alright, I'm gonna just it. So which one did you say it was? The red one? So it's gonna be this one. It's hard to keep your damn screwdriver in this thing. Alright, let's go five turns. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Go five more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think it's getting better now. Let's go a couple more. One. Two. Skip a few. Yep. That's what the peak kit on. Looks pretty good. Let's see how mine acts. Peak kit on. Lights on. So I can put the light down. This is mine. Alright. Well, I can't get to the back. Mine's wrapped up. Well, let's uh, loosely put the battery there. Let's uh, temporarily put this here so the battery don't fall out. Let's put one screw in it temporarily. Let's say temporarily a lot. 
But, uh... Alright, so, let's check this now, let's see what we got, alright, 50 watt slug against 50 watt slug, let's put this radio, Turn the pink kit on. It's going to show the same RMS. All right. What's that? Huh. Oh. All right. Let's re zero that out. Alright, let's see what we got here, 50 and 50, alright, that's on the 1, 2, 3, 3 line, 1, 2, 3 line, so that's right, alright, peak and peak zone, both of them's in, both of them's in the center position, Exactly the same. All right. Two times a half 30 will be 15. It should be on 15, right in between the 10 and the 20. Oh. Hello. Right on it. Two times on mine. Oh. Right on it. Same thing. All right, let's go to five times on mine. Five times on this one, and we're checking it with a radio. I'll check it with the app on here in a minute. Uh, all right, we're in the five times position. Let's see where this one goes to. Oh, it goes to about five watts. Oh, this one goes to about six. And it could be the difference in the slug, could be the difference in the coax. Uh, it, the point where this is at is closer to the radio. This could check a little hotter than that one does. The length of coax makes a difference in that stuff. So this one being closer to the radio is going to show a little bit more watts because it's closer to it. If you see somebody taking one of these line sections, putting on the back of the amp, I know it's going to be controversial. It, some people say it don't make no difference, but it does. You will see the actual wattage coming out of that amp uh, when it's hooked to the amp versus with a piece of coax out and then you checking it. It'll lose some through the coax. But if you got it hooked directly to the back of the amp, it's... Uh, it can't lose because uh, it's there. If that makes any sense. But, alright. RMS, I know that's going to be right. Alright, let's take a 50 watt slug out. I ain't got but this is gonna be off. Alright, we'll do it with his 2500 watt slug versus mine. But his is still gonna be different than mine. I guarantee you. Alright. 2500 watt slug in mine, 2500 watt slug in his. This is my 50 watt slug. Keep up with that. Alright, that's there. 25 and 25. Okay, my test out. 
We'll turn it wide open. Turn the radio on. Alright. Oh. Oh. Alright. Mine is, let's see. This ain't but a little 300 watt amp, so it ain't gonna do much on a 2500 watt slug. So, all right. So that's going to be 2,500 watt looking top scale. So that's going to be 500, 200 is going to be in the middle. Oh, hello. That's 500. Oh, that'd be 250. Oh, it's doing about 100. Oh, that's just tight. Pull his out, put mine in. Mine's showing, mine's showing about 250. Uh, oh, 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 well, same thing. This one's, this meter's tighter than mine. Oh, no one, it's a fucking peak. I told you I'm stupid. Alright, peaks kits on, that peak kits on. Oh, so up there it's doing about oh, a little over 300. Oh, same thing. Let's see the big mark and oh, the third one. The big mark in the third one. Oh, yep. This one's big mark in the second one. Ain't much difference. Probably a little difference in the slug. Go back to his. times oh. oh same thing five times oh five times let's see what am I seeing up on one oh second one oh second one identical that's right let me show this if I can get something to set this on. Uh, in the box. I don't think that's going to be tall enough, but maybe we can get that in the frame with it. Maybe. Alright, let's see if we can get these together. Let's take this other box set on it. All right, 2,500 watt slug here, 2,500 watt slug there. This is mine, this is his. It might be a little difference in it, but we're gonna go back to the neutral position. Y'all bear with me, it's four o'clock in the morning. And uh, I've been doing a little bit of everything all damn day. I've been out there working on my truck, so just leave it at that. All right. Let's see if we can get it here. Like I said, 2500 watt slug here, 2500 watt slug there. My amplifier, which is here, is on. It's a little two pill. It does about 300 watts, I think. Uh, all depends on what day it is. All right. Today, 20. You read that top scale, 2500 watt. What you're looking at, see if both of these are together. Alright, this is in the, uh, 
This is 2500 watt neutral position at face value. This slug and that slug. So this meter and this meter need to be about the same. That little meter, that little needle, I didn't reset it three or four times. Do one more. Alright, let's leave it there. I'm trying to zero it out. Alright, it don't make no difference. Make make a line. That's about it. Alright. Hello. So two above the 100 scale. Uh, that would be 250. We run it 300, I guess. Oh, same thing. All right, two times, two times. All right, these are just supposed to read the same. That's all you're looking at. Them read the same. All right, let's see what this one reads. Oh. So about fourth mark. What this one? Oh, fourth mark. All right, five times. So that's uh, 2,500 times five. Oh, second mark. Oh, not quite the second mark. Oh, same thing. All right, let's cut this amp, my amp off. Let's go with uh, let's go with the 50 watt slugs on radio so y'all couldn't see that. I got two 50 watt slugs so we can do them. 50 and a 50. This is coaxial dynamics. Don't. This is a little looser than this one. <coughs> But if they're somewhat normal, well, where are they at? This is just a radio. All right, just a radio. Dead key. Let me turn this up. Let's see. Dead key in about five watts. I know this is going to be tighter. It's just the way it is. The bird one is tighter. All right. So this one's uh, about three, and this one's about five. Go a little bit more. All right, it's five dead on the money on this one. It's three dead on the money on that one. And that's just the way this slug is. This one's tighter. All right. Let's see what it does under modulation. This is in peak. That one's in peak. Oh. Hello, about 25 and this one's about 30. And it's all got to do with the slug. I can change the slug out and this will be just like that one, but pretty much. But like I said, this one's closer to the radio, so this one's show a little bit more sometimes. It's tick for tack pretty much there. Oh, hello, 30 watts. All right, let's go to two times, two times. So half of 30 would be 15, so you'd be right in here. And this is gonna be right in there. Oh, hello. This one's showing about 13, this is showing 15. Hello. Actually showing about 16. Uh, it's about three watts difference on um, twenty slugs. All right, five times. Go to five all the way down. All right, five times. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, oh. This one's reading at the five watt mark. This one's reading at the uh, about six. Oh, about six. So it's right. Dallas, I hope you're happy with it. So, uh, the light here on the side, uh, if you can see that, all right, this is off. 
these LEDs up here is a lot of light and it washes out everything. All right, that's off. This is on. And like I said, I can drill a hole and put your one in the front, put it down here and put it wherever. I could uh, relocate the switch. They even got a uh, diagram on here. Uh, there's a lot of people do it. Like mine. I didn't do it. I uh, left the switch over here. And that's the switch that the guy from New York does. The switch here. But I did move the bulb up here where I can see it. The bulb's there. I did do that. So, damn, I got another 5 watts look. There's two. Huh. And when you ship these meters, you need a dummy slug in it or turn the slug like this. It does make a difference. Take the slug and turn it straight up and down. When you ship it, this one, I don't have, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to go back to the video. But when you ship it, Make sure you either got a dummy slug, and that's what these are made for. This one's actually got unlimited data on it. This one, uh, it's a good cell phone one here, but it's got unlimited data. Uh, that's what these are made for, to short this out so that thing won't move. If you look... It moves a whole lot. You got this in there. It don't move. So. I don't want to do it like this. I'm going to put a. I'm going to put the 25 watt slug in there sideways. So that uh, that won't mess with that. Come on. And this is your uh, 2500 watt slug in the side. I'm going to put this right here and do this. We'll do this. It's uh, come off. It shouldn't leave any uh, glue. I'm gonna put this in there so it won't fall out or it turns sideways. You need to get you one of these. If you especially gonna carry it around and move it around that now, you need to get you one of these or get you one like this. This is adjustable wattage. This one here is unlimited. Uh, pretty simple to build. Yeah. That one you just, you can uh, turn it with a uh, special wrench. Now this is cheap to make, but it costs a lot for the wrench. I'll make the wrench for you for about uh, $75, but this right here, I'll do that for you for nothing. Just send me your, your slug in, I'll do that. But there you go, Mr. Dallas. I'm going to uh, keep the old one and uh, put a, another pot there and see if I can fix it. And then that'll be sent back to you, or you can give it to me if you want to.
I don't care. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, but it looks like somebody's been in this thing. Kinda. If you look on the back, it's kind of scraped up in places. Right in here. You have to put on a magnifying glass to see it. But it's there. Looks like somebody's been scratching around in a few places. But I don't know. If 